welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. My name's Olivia. So as you can tell by the title today, we are discussing foundation and I am reviewing the Colourpop No Filter Foundation. This foundation was a big one for 2018 and it was all over YouTube, all over Instagram, basically anywhere the beauty influencers and beauty content creators were talking about foundation, they were talking about this one. Uh, I finally managed to get my hands on it and so today is going to be a review of that foundation. It's going to be a first impressions and um, review of it. I don't think I'm going to find time to be able to film any content later on to show you how it wears during the day. Uh, but that is definitely something I do want to start doing. But for now, I will definitely leave a comment down below and let you know what I think of the foundation in terms of its longevity and how it wore during the day. And so look out in the comments down below just to see what my final, final thoughts are. But this is more of a first impression and stroke review as I'm putting on the foundation first thing. So before we get started with that, of course I can't let you go before I let you know that you need to hit the subscribe button. So if you aren't subscribed already, like a lot of you watching are, I see the statistics, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, join the fam gang. It would really, really mean so much to me and it would be lovely to have you on board. Leave me a comment down below, let me know if you're a new subby and I'll show you some love as well. And also, if you are interested in keeping up with me and my daily tidbits, then please also make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's just get started. Okay, so I went on to the Colourpop website and they have a shade matching feature, which basically allows you to put in whatever foundation you are in other brands and then it recommends a shade to you. So based on the foundations that I have in brands, it recommended to me this shade, which is Deep Dark 195. Eyes. and just looking at it in the bottle it looks really similar to my MAC Studio Fix MW50 which looks like this. I am just going to swatch them so you can get an idea of what we're talking about. So let me just pick a little bit up onto a brush. So this is Deep Dark 195. It's quite neutral yeah, I think this is going to look really similar to my NW50. Let me just clean off my brush and pick up a bit of that NW50. Oh, okay. So actually, NW50, it looks a little bit more yellow, has a little bit more golden tone to it. Um, the Deep Dark 195 looks a little bit more neutral. It has a little bit more pink in it. So, I mean, we're going to see what it looks like on no worries so let me just clean that off and then i can start applying my makeup uh, so the bottle looks like this it's basically a glass bottle and comes with a pump that has a lockable feature so you can just twist it it doesn't have a lid that goes on top and you get 25 ml of product in this which is just slightly less than most typical foundations most foundations will give you about 30 ml of product so this one only gives you 25 um let me tell you about the claim. So I'm just reading this off the Colourpop website. So this is the No Filter Natural Matte Foundation, uh, our buildable full coverage formula. Natural matte foundation delivers flawless looking skin from day to night. It's oil-free, lightweight formula, blends smoothly, and it's easily customizable to create the coverage that you want. Uh, it was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments to deliver true colour while looking and feeling natural. Okay, so that's the claims on this. So my face is breaking out. I have tons of breakouts all over, hormonal breakouts. Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to cover up um, my blemishes. As you guys know, I'm no longer colour correcting. So we'll soon find out whether this can do what it says that it can do. So I'm just going to pump. Oh, you only get a really tiny amount in each pump. Oh, the second one came out a little bit more. So I'm just pumping this onto the back of my hand and I've done two full pumps. Looks kind of like that. And I'm going in with my favorite brush and I'm just gonna start applying this right on. Okay, so from just that application, it actually seems to have given me quite a bit of coverage on that side. Um, the formula feels kind of um, 
I'd say like a medium formula. It's not, it's quite liquidy on the back of my hand. So it's a little bit runny, but not like pure liquid. Um, and in terms of how it feels when you just apply it straight on, it kind of feels medium. It's not like super, super lightweight where you can feel like it's water or something that you've put on your face, but it's not also really thick and heavy. So far I'm getting quite a good amount of coverage. I still have product on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna use that to cover up my face. This is quite rich in terms of pigment. I'd say that it leans a little bit more um, cooler than my actual skin tone. It's not as golden as it needs to be, but it's not like that horrible orangey ready color that you can sometimes get. I don't know what it's looking like on screen, but it's not looking too bad in person. Okay, so this is what it looks like all applied onto my face. Uh, in terms of finish, I would say definitely the description was right. It's got a natural matte finish. It's got just enough luminosity in it to make your skin look healthy um, and look more lifelike. It's not completely sapped of light, so it's not completely flat. It has a little bit of something going on, but it doesn't look greasy or dewy at all. And um, so I'm happy so far with what that looks like. Uh, in terms of coverage, it has given me quite a good amount of coverage here on to my cheeks. I'm just putting the teeniest amount on to um, the back of my hand and just picking it up to just go over some of those blemishes that I mentioned, which are a little bit stubborn and tricky on my face just because with these hormonal breaks, you get awful dark marks afterwards, but it's doing a good job of covering it up. Uh, in terms of to the touch, it does still feel a little bit, um, not tacky, but I mean, you can feel that the foundation is there, even in places where it supposedly has dried down. Uh, but that's not a worry for me because, of course, I always go in and set my foundation with powder anyway. Just looking in the mirror, you can definitely tell that I've got foundation on, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey. Um, but of course, we'll see how that wears on um, later. What I want to do now is to go ahead and do my highlight and contour routine. And seeing as I've got them, uh, I'm gonna use the ColourPop concealers because these are part of the same range. So I'm just gonna use Dark 46 um, under my eyes there to highlight a little bit on my forehead, down my nose and on to my chin as per usual. And then just going in with a beauty sponge to help blend it out. The concealer is blending really nicely on top of this. It's not doing uh, that horrible sitting on top thing. It's just kind of like smooth and blending in really well in terms of color as well. Um, so I'm enjoying that. I am just gonna add a teeny bit of extra brightness just here in the center. So I'm going in with Deep Dark 40 and just a dab of each, just a dab on under each eye just to blend that out. And the reason I'm doing that, and you'll see in a second, is because I want to use the ColourPop Loose Powder to set this, um, but the banana is definitely way too light for me, and I have the Medium Deep. So I want to still maintain some of this brightness um, even if I use that medium deep powder. Um, so I'm just adding a little bit of extra in terms of concealer just so that it doesn't get completely lost underneath. Okay, so time to set. I'm going in with the no filter powder, medium deep as I said. I'm just gonna pick up this on to the same sponge that I'm using. Um, and I'm gonna use this to set my under eye. I'm using the same powder with a powder brush and then I'm just going to use that to dust off the rest of my face.
contour, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Face HD powder in the shade Coco. And I'm just going to use that to give me a little bit of definition here on my cheeks. I've got to say, I really love this powder. Like my skin, it just feels so smooth and so creamy after I've set it with this. And I actually really like the combination of um, using this powder under my eyes. It hasn't given me my typical super bright look under my eyes, but it's just got a very natural, subtle looking highlight going on. And I think the tip of going in just a little bit brighter with the concealer helped it to not kind of just look like the same um, one dimensional face. So now I have got some interest going on, but it's not so dramatic and I think I like it. On my cheeks, I'm grabbing this Sleek by 3 palette and I'm gonna go in to that center shade, which is a stunning hot orange. <laughs> And I'm just dabbing this on first to the bottom apple of my cheek, taking it up into my um, cheekbone. And then I'm gonna go in with that brush that I used earlier to help diffuse and blend that all in. So right guys, so I've finished off the rest of my face and put the rest of my makeup on. I'll make sure to leave the details of what I've got on my face down in the description bar if you are interested. Um, but what do you guys think in terms of how this looks once it's finished? I'm quite happy with the look. I was concerned when I first looked at this foundation in the bottle that it was going to be a little bit too neutral. It looked almost, it looked almost too pink and definitely even swatching it next to my Studio Fix Fluid, it actually was a little bit more, um, it had a little bit more pink in there. But once I put it on my face and blended it out and put all the rest of the products on it, I think it definitely does work. In terms of finish, just looking into the mirror right now, I really like what it looks like. My skin doesn't look too flat, it doesn't look too dry, and I think definitely pairing it with this loose setting powder helped. These products obviously work together really well, and it hasn't flattened it out too much. Um, sometimes when you put a setting powder on, it can just kind of kill everything you've got going on underneath, but this didn't do that, so I'm really happy about that. And I also really like the effect of my under eye highlight. It's quite subtle. I do have quite a dramatic eye on as well. So sometimes you don't want to have too much fighting in terms of what's going on in your eye and also what's going on in your under eye. Um, my skin looks just healthy, good skin. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to come across on camera. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this shade match. And also what your shade reference is. I've been playing around with starting to bring in foundations for Cocoon Beauty. So if this is one that you would be interested in um, having available on the store, then definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know your shade number so I can get an idea of where we're playing around with in terms of shades. Uh, and maybe later on in the year, we might start introducing this if you would be interested. I haven't, of course, worn it long enough to know what I think in terms of where, but I will keep you guys updated in the comments down below, so look out for that. But otherwise, that brings me to the end of the video. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you love these kind of reviews, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.